Every video on this channel moves you one step closer to a government nursing job, improves your nursing knowledge and bedside skills. Watch till the end, learn something new today and contact me using the WhatsApp link in the description below for exam ready PDFs. Which lead is most commonly monitored for rhythm analysis in critical care? A. Lead 1 B. Lead 2 C. Lead AVR D. Lead V6 Correct answer B. Lead 2 Lead 2 provides the clearest view of P waves and overall rhythm, making it the preferred monitoring lead for arrhythmia detection in critical care and emergency settings. Which electrolyte imbalance causes a prolonged QT interval? A. Hypercalcemia B. Hyperkalemia C. Hypocalcemia D. Hypernatremia Correct answer C. Hypocalcemia Low calcium levels slows down ventricular repolarization, leading to prolonged QT interval. This can increase the risk of torsades depontis making prompt identification important. Which finding indicates hyperacute myocardial infraction on ECG? A. Deep Q waves B. Tall peaked T waves with broad bases C. Prolonged PR interval D. U waves Correct answer B. Tall peaked T waves with broad bases Hyperacute MI typically presents with tall, broad-based T waves in the early phase before ST elevation develops. These T wave changes reflect early injury to the myocardium. Which rhythm shows a regular narrow complex tachycardia without visible P waves? A. Atrial fibrillation B. Ventricular tachycardia C. Supraventricular tachycardia SVT D. Junctional escape rhythm Correct answer C. Supraventricular tachycardia SVT SVT typically appears as a fast regular rhythm with narrow QRS complexes and often no visible P waves because the atrial activity is hidden within the QRS. It originates above the ventricles and responds well to vagal maneuvers. Which ECG change is most characteristic of pericarditis? A. ST elevation in specific leads only. D. Widespread concave ST elevation. C. Deep Q waves. D. Tall R waves. Correct answer. B. Widespread concave ST elevation. Pericarditis typically produces diffuse concave ST elevations, that is, smiling shaped elevations across many leads rather than localized changes seen in MI. This pattern reflects inflammation of the pericardium affecting the heart surface globally. Which ECG finding is associated with hypokalemia? A. Peaked T waves. B. Prolonged PR interval C. Prominent U waves D. Short QT interval Correct answer C. Prominent U waves Hypokalemia delays repolarization and produces visible U waves following the T wave. These U waves are a classic and early ECG sign used to suspect low potassium levels. Which ECG finding indicates left ventricular hypertrophy LVH? A. Low voltage complexes B. Very tall R waves in V5, V6 C. Deep S waves in V1, V3 D. Inverted P waves in lead 2 Correct answer B. Very tall R waves in V5, V6 LVH increases electrical activity in the left ventricle producing tall R waves in lateral leads such as V5 and V6. Criteria like the Sokolov-Leon index use these wave heights to diagnose hypertrophy. 
which ECG lead best detects anterior wall myocardial infraction? A. Lead 2 B. Lead 3 C. Lead V3 V4 D. Lead AVF Correct answer C. Leads V3 V4 Anterior wall MI affects the front part of the left ventricle and ST elevation is best seen in the precordial chest leads V3 and V4. These leads directly view the anterior surface of the heart. Which ECG change is most commonly seen in hypercalcemia? A. Prolonged QT interval B. Shortened QT interval C. Tall U waves D. Flattened T waves Correct answer B. Shortened QT interval Hypercalcemia speeds up ventricular repolarization which shortens the QT interval on ECG. This is the classic and most reliable ECG sign of high calcium levels. Which ECG feature indicates sinus rhythm? A. No visible P waves B. P wave before every QRS C. Irregularly irregular rhythm D. Sawtooth flutter waves Correct answer B. P wave before every QRS In sinus rhythm, each heartbeat begins at the SA node, producing a P wave followed by a QRS complex. This consistent pattern confirms normal electrical pacing of the heart. Which of the following findings suggests bundle branch block on ECG? A. Narrow QRS complex B. Wide QRS complex C. Absent T waves D. Short PR interval Correct answer B. Wide QRS complex Bundle branch block suggests a wide QRS complex usually more than or equal to 120 milliseconds. Bundle branch blocks slow electrical conduction through the ventricular pathways, causing a widened QRS complex. This widening reflects delayed and altered ventricular activation. Which ECG wave represents ventricular repolarization? A. P wave B. QRS complex C. T wave D. U wave Correct answer Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.